A correspondent, the White House correspondent for Gateway Pundit. Mm. Good stuff. These guys, um, what was the, uh, I can't remember. Weren't they the ones who were complain- claiming that, was Gateway Pundit one of the ones who, com- who, cl- who claimed that the Washington Post was offering money? Uh, yeah. I believe so. Top journalistic uh, institution. I, I wonder why uh, UConn invited this guy to talk about, like, um, charlatans and cons. It was part of the whole college campus. It's all out of control. There's no diversity of thought. So uh, this guy, Lucian Wintrick. <laughs> yes, Lucian Wintrick. He is the White House correspondent for the, the Gateway Pundit. There he is, doing his best Sam Cedar impersonation by wearing the uh, bow tie, glasses look that uh, I had back in the day. The speech was titled, It's Okay to Be White, by the way, just a note. It's okay to be white. That's interesting. Is that Mm. something you're working on, Matt? And so uh, there was obviously, it seems like everybody was there just as a hate. Uh, thing like nobody was really listening to his speech but this is the way that he makes his uh, his hay and uh, you'll notice this woman in the um, the purple can you go back just a little bit earlier can you start it a little bit earlier okay she's going to go up and um, at one point I don't know why he stops talking but she goes up and she takes his speech I think or his notes and um, because apparently he has memorized why it's okay to be white And uh, he does what every, you know, uh, red-blooded American man would do. He goes and he uh, basically tackles her to get his notes back. Jesus. He keeps accosting her. <clears throat> he keeps accosting her, and then he is subsequently arrested by the police officers there, because apparently in Connecticut, there's a law that if someone takes your speech or your piece of paper, you're not allowed to physically assault them. So there are these horrible videos on YouTube, uh, you know, these sort of like morbid uh, uh, videos of like basically comedians at like bad clubs snapping from heckling and there's this one where this guy's up there and he's singing these you know they're incredibly unfunny songs in his guitar not even offensive or anything they're just bad and the guy's sitting in the front row being like you suck you suck you know or something obnoxious and he gets off the stage and he breaks the guitar over the guy's face <laughs> and there's, a- there's something about the the snap there and the complete just well, the, the argument like from the right wingers is that this wasn't just a piece of paper. It was his speech. I and mean, like a, like a hundred dollar bill is just a piece of paper, but it's worth a hundred dollars. Oh, wow. Now, here's the thing, folks. You cannot physically assault someone um, who is uh, you, you can't pr- continually physically assault them. And. Um, now, maybe there's some charges that they could bring against her, stealing, speech stealing. But um, the room was full of police officers. That's how he got arrested so quickly. So he could have run over to the police officer and said, excuse me. <laughs> that I'm is Lucian dollars. I'm Lucian Wintrick. Do you realize how valuable that speech is? <laughs> Apprehend that woman. I am white. I shan't be in any way. He was the same guy who did the Twinks for Trump photos as well. What is that? Uh, basically, he gets some really hot Twinks to... Wait, what are Twinks? Oh, Sam. Wow. You don't have enough gay friends, do you? No, I don't. I guess not. Uh, Twink is like uh, an androgynous, youthful looking man. Oh. Boy man. All right. Um, well, we used to call people like that just more androgynous. D- they're delightful, but um, he would pay these really hot twinks to pose wearing like "Make America Great Again" merch and oh. not much else to make some sort of a statement that like uh, 
you know, Republicans or sex can be sexy too, but it kind of backfired. I don't think it really had the same ideological content he wanted it to because these guys were only going Trump for pay. Right. Like, I don't know how much meaning that holds if uh, the twinks are only wearing the hat because you're paying them to do it. There you go. Like these twinks did not all vote for Trump. Probably. I would venture to guess almost none of them did. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.